In this video, we will discuss how to sort the elements of an array. We have three variables, int size for the initialization of the array, int index as a pointer for the array's index, and int temp as temporary holder for values of swapping. We have here the input part, validation if size is greater than one, because we mustn't create an array with only one element, the array initialization, the loop for getting the inputs of the user, This is the loop for displaying the values of the array in default order. This is the loop for sorting the array in ascending order. We have a nested loop. The parent loop uses the index, which is index i, to compare the elements of the array it currently addresses to all the values of the same array on the child loop. What's inside the condition is used for switching the values of the array. The loop for the comparison lessen every iteration due to the value of index j depending on index i plus 1. The child loop I box and below are not actually needed in sorting. I just put it there so later when we execute the program, you can see how the sorting happens every iteration. I've made an example below for program tracing. Assuming the values of the arrays in order are 11, 16, 15, 4, and 1, the example follows the iteration where index i of the parent loop is equal to 0. This iteration will happen inside the child loop. First, num array index 0 is greater than num array index 1, or 11 is greater than 16. This is false. So, second iteration. Num array index 0 is greater than num array index 2, or 11 greater than 16 is still false. Third, num array index 0 greater than num array index 3, 11 greater than 4, true. The current value of index i is 0, and the current value of index j is 3. Now in the statement inside the condition, change the value of temp to num array index i, which is 11. Change the value of num array index i to num array index j, which is currently at number 4. Change the value of index j to temp, which is now 11. The current value of num array index i is now 4. The current order of the array would change to 4, 16, 15, 11, and 1. Array index 0 and array index 3 swapped. Fourth iteration. Num array index 0 greater than num array index 4, or 4 is greater than 1. The current value of index i is still 0, and the current value of index j is now 4. Now in the statement inside the condition, change the value of temp to num array index i, which is 4. Change the value of num array index i to num array index j, which is currently pointing at number 1. Change the value of num array index j to temp, which is now 4. The current value of num array index i is now 1. The current order of the array would change to 1, 16, 15, 11, and 4. The first and the last index swapped. The loop will now go back to the parent loop and increment index i, so index i is now 1. The child loop will do another iteration, this time the index is equal to 1. Let's execute the program and see the process through the loop I embedded earlier inside the sorting loop. Let's have the size at 5 and input the sample element earlier, 11, 16, 15, 4, and 1. And there, the tracing we did earlier for the third and fourth iteration where index i is equal to 0. The switching of values for sorting happens here. You can also see on the next iterations that the values are still switching until it reaches the end of the loop where all the values is assumed to have been sorted, as it really is sorted in ascending order on the last iteration. As for descending order, the logic is the same. Just change the condition from greater than to less than. And that's array sorting.